Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're back on Euro Truck Simulator 2. Uh, I think by now I've possibly released the first episode uh, of starting a new career. This isn't that. This is just a test drive again, just to get guys, you guys' opinions and that. I had a complaint, well, complaints, probably a bit harsh, but I had some advice, should I say, by someone on YouTube had, had said that they didn't like the fact that the view was so close in the truck what, from what you guys can see. But what you've got to get is, with the triple screens in Euro Truck, if you activate Multimon, which is in the files, that does three screen rendering which means it makes this right screen look like you're actually in a truck so you can look out, you can see traffic coming and whatnot. If you turn that off, which is what I've done, you can then, you guys can see nicely, but then I don't get the full triple screen aspect. But I don't know what's better. I mean, I, I want you guys to be happy watching the content, so I'll, I'll do it this way. And if you like it, great, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down, leave a comment, tell me why you don't like it. So, on that front, we're in the Volvo H, is it the HF16? No, FH16 Classic. Uh, we are going to go to Job Market. I think we're in Italy. Uh, we are. We're going to grab something nice. Uh, I want. Oh, there's not. There's not much here to take, is there? I wanted a decent journey, I didn't want to just, uh, where's route length, that one, so what have we got, we've got that at 800 mile, that at 1200 mile, <laughs> or that at 400 mile, well I think, I think what we'll do today is we'll do a 280 mile, so we'll take this pipe and then when we get to the other destination we'll maybe pick another job up. Uh, where we are here, right. So, we'll fire the truck up. I'm going to do an F4 and make sure my uh, outside illuminations are on. And we are going... That, that That's another thing with the... When, I, when you turn off the Multimon support, the map gets put over right over in this corner whereas it was on the centre which which was better like but well we'll see. It doesn't bother me. It means I now can't see out the right anymore. But I couldn't see out the right before anyway. going right there left actually left I need to remember traffic light again as well because if you park just too close you can't see them as well I've also changed the webcam round so you guys can see the hate shifter again so, you know, comment, let me know what you think. And if you haven't joined a new Facebook group yet, link will be in the description. Get over there, put a post on, you know, show off your screenshots. Don't go past the turn mark. Already, already done it. Yeah, show off your screenshots, shows your rigs and whatnot. I'm going to hit that boss, aren't I? Oh, that was close. Yeah, it's just a friendly group. It's very, very, very small at the moment. I just want people to get interactive and share, you know, pointers. And it means you can uh, probably interact with yourself a bit more because I'm more active on... I, I wouldn't say I'm more active on, like, Facebook, but it's just hard when you've got start getting quite a lot of different videos up and if people are wanting to ask serious questions and that where some of the questions I'd rather just show you guys a photo and, uh, and I can't so on, on YouTube so this is the point I 
and deal. That's attaching. Right, so we are going <coughs> left. I don't think there's any one coming. Yeah, but for anyone on multi monitors who play this title, you know, go into the config file, go into your documents and go into your config file of Euro Truck 2 and uh, change the multi mon program to 2, and that's, act that's uh, three screen rendering, so that's render each screen separately, and that gives you that. It gives you that closer view on the centre, but it gives you the side views where they're actually portrayed correctly. And it's a really good experience if you haven't tried it yet. And then you can change your field of view in there as well. Uh, whereas I know you can change your field of view on F4 when you don't have that activated, but as I say, it doesn't. The side screens are all stretched and that. Uh, but it does give you guys a better view in the centre, definitely. So. Uh, it's it's hard. We'll, we'll see. I mean, when I get better video and equipment, I can probably just set a camera up and just record the screens, because the screens are fairly good quality. It's just this camera blows them out really badly for some reason. But it it's not a great it's not a great camera to be fair. I forgot to put my iPad on, so I don't know what speed I'm doing. I can see the truck speed, or that'll do. We're going right here. I see. Qu quite a size pipe, that. Oh, so much just disconnected. I hate it when you get that, that sound because you think it's going to be something that you're using, but. Don't know what it was. Might be my race display actually. Uh, oh, I've just noticed we need fuel. <laughs> uh, I'll get moved over here. Yeah, we need to go and get some diesel. We don't actually have much left either. Ah, how handy is that? If you've watched these episodes before, there's never just a petrol station when I need one. They just didn't. She's never there. up the truck that's our Volvo that we're in I'll leave it there while we're filling up because it takes a while I do like this Volvo what's it look like with the lights on can I put the big lights on or not no you can't put them on with the when the engine's not on that's it we're full 976 litres. Ah, there's my big light. Excellent. Right. Let's get back on with the journey then. Uh, I couldn't see, but I can now. Be forgetting the big truck mirrors over there. So it's back on the journey. So as I say, when I get to the other end, I might do a, another journey. But I wanted to put a video on the channel and, uh, and give, give you guys the options whether you want this view or do you want me to do it 
for the correct view because this isn't correct for triple screens it just isn't but it works well for you guys you you can see well uh, the other view is just so close and I, I understand that but it isn't close when you sat in front of three monitors so it's uh I'll let you, you, you guys can let us know what you think, but this works as well. I'm quite happy like this. I can still see quite a bit more than I could. It's not a bad country size, is it? Possibly speeding a little bit there. We've also got the uh, the French DLC to get to in this game as well. I've not, I've not. I don't even think I've put it in yet. He's going for the overtake. I'm not. <laughs> I fancied it like. It's a blind corner. I know I shouldn't. But it's just so tempting to take the risk. See, I knew there was no traffic coming. I just knew that. See, when I'm not doing like the proper career and that, and I'm just coming purely just to test, and I say I hope you guys leave in the comments if you like this view better or you prefer the other one. Doesn't bother me. If I wasn't recording, I'd be using the other view. Uh, just to be brutally honest, it gives you such a better perspective out that side. So when you come to a junction, you don't need to look left or right. You can just look at that screen, just think, oh yeah, clear. So that that side of it is really good, but. Again, this view is still not, I can still see a lot more than what I could, which is great. And then you guys still get that normal view as well. It's hard though, it's... Uh, I just want to get it the best I can so you guys can enjoy watching, so if you just let us know anyway. I say if you don't want to let us know in the comments, jump over to the Facebook page, let us know. Or actually, there's a comment I put on somewhere the other day on Facebook and someone had put some screenshots of their trucks on, said that they really enjoy playing Euro Truck and it was nice to see and I thought, yeah, you know, why don't you jump over to the page and stick the screenshots on there, it look awesome. So we have a page and also a group, but the group is what I want to be active the page is great, I'll still put stuff on the page, but it's a group that I want to be active because uh, I, I want you guys to be able to put stuff on and talk to each other and talk to me as well. Let me know, you know, if you want to ask anything or tell me anything, it would be an easier place to do that. Oh, he's breaking hard. We're going for the overtake. We've got the power on him. We've got places to be, man. People to see. Oh, 
this car's doing. Upsetting my truck, that's what it's doing. I don't think I've done many jobs in Italy over this sort of way. Nice tunnel. Wow. The detail they put in, even having the tunnel lights and that on, I mean, whoever built this didn't build the, the top bit very straight, like, but. I don't think I've. Yeah, I've never been on this road. It's amazing. I mean, some, some of you guys has been, like, all over this map, covered every part of it. But. It's, it's, I think it's more just because I play that many different titles. I suppose if I just spent every day, every minute of every day on, on the one title, I would probably get more done on that particular title, but I do enjoy playing a lot of different things. This is tight round here. Truck just wants to take off. This truck's going really slow, like. Why isn't he just nailing the apexes? <laughs> To be honest, I think if I did get past this truck, I'd probably end up just going too fast. Probably my fault for just being a bit close, like I was just checking on the mileage that we've got still to do. We've only got 140 miles left to go. It's not they're not big jobs these though, but I, I wanna keep the bigger jobs now for 
doing on our own courier because we've got the uh, the brand new courier to do but also after the last video I put up the first trucking video with a heavy haulage with the three screens and I say someone had mentioned about the view but I'd already recorded the uh, new the new career I already recorded it so that's the same view so before I do the next recording of that one I want to put this video out to ask you guys what view do you want to see I don't I don't know got a funny feeling I'm gonna put this out and then anyone that uses triple screens is gonna say oh well that view is incorrect it's like well yeah I'm trying it is hard as well because the channel's not very old it's only sort of coming up four weeks old so but I, I say I'm trying to put two or three videos on every day mainly two I'm trying to stick to two videos a day is, suits me well but there's while I'm doing these testing and that I'll be putting three on I think because uh, some of the test videos aren't very long oh a nice bit of logging going on up there so you guys can see that look at that <laughs> got a truck behind us that's been following us for a while as well but I think we're coming up to a straight so I can get past this other truck Blind hill again, Mark. Terrible overtaking. Bear in mind, though, I have followed him for quite a while. And this isn't a serious program, this one. Program. Episode. This is me getting on testing and that. Hitting the apexes. <laughs> My friend Hutchie, if he's watching this, he'll be laughing because I, I do struggle to take things seriously for too long, but... Oh, we've got a lean on. Take it steady. Alright, I think we'll back off a bit. I love the sound effects in this. I'm also going to hook up a light underneath the... Uh, underneath my wheel deck, like under here. Uh, to light up the pedals so you guys can see also I'm thinking about a pedal cam or a gear stick cam or if I went back to the other view in this title so the camera from sort of this direction shooting on, onto that view I was thinking of them putting on a gearbox like putting a, a camera up here you know sort of there shooting down at me changing gear and trying to capture the pedals as well but it's just all ideas in the air at the moment you guys let me know what you think and uh, I'll do my best to fulfill I need to get back on multiplayer as well my internet's been so bad lately uh, I haven't been on with my dad either uh, but uh, he does enjoy playing a lot of War Thunder and that as well so it's uh i'll get on with him when i can and you know i i enjoy being on with him as well so it's starting to get a bit dark in the game now we'll get the full lights on we've got a sunset over here as well look Oh, that's bright driving into that, isn't it? So we're turning right here. Oh, 
That is it's really clever like cause it does look like a sunset but it's right weird on your eyes as well which it would be to be fair right it's us uh, what are we 70 mile Let's see if we need fuel or out. No, I don't think we do. We also don't need to be doing 70 miles an hour. Truck handles it well, like. Truck's really good. So I, I'm actually really looking forward to, uh, look. yeah, I'm really looking forward to start the new truck and series. As I say, we started the first episode, but we haven't bought the truck. But I want to get all this angle thing and all this screen nonsense out the way and make sure you guys are happy with the content that's coming before we head into a proper series. Uh, as I say, that's why I'm asking people, even if they're giving me some thumbs down, just to explain why, I mean, is it because I'm a new channel and I don't know what I'm doing? Because that wouldn't make complete sense. <laughs> so I can't be more honest than what I'm being. I mean, I say I'd be doing this anyway. I'd be driving anyway, even if I hadn't pressed the record button. So I'm, I'm really enjoying recording and sharing the content with you guys. And so hopefully it helps people. And, you know, if there's sims and stuff you don't have and I do and you're thinking of buying it, just tell me and I can play it and show you what it thinks i've done it before in the past i've gone looking for a sim that i'm wanting to buy before i buy it and be like oh is it any good and the person's like oh no it's terrible and you're like oh great fantastic or it might not suit your needs you know you want it for one reason uh but i've i've had a couple of questions about some new sims come up to the channel as well so obviously i've got a lot of titles that i haven't even put on the channel yet but I've also been asked for, uh, was it Bus Simulator 2016? I, I think I found it on Steam. So I'll get that. Uh, also, that or, or is it Omzi Simulator? That's a bus simulator as well. I've been asked for that as well. So d definitely one of them will come to the channel. I don't know which. I'll probably get both of them, to be honest. But... I know the OMSI one, there's a lot of DLC in that for it as well, which gives us something to get over the next year or so, but again, I, both of them titles I've never played, so, but I like Euro Truck and I like American Truck and, you know, I like Farm Sim, so sim on the simulation front, I do generally like most of them, so. Also, the flight sims won't be coming to the channel for a while now because I took my flight rig out to put the three screens back in, so... Well, uh, that'll have to wait. Chances of missing that light as well.
we we'll miss both lights. The good thing is, whatever view I use, at least I can still see the traffic lights. That's the main thing. Hey. Let's go and do the hard part now, the parking. It's hard coming from the heavy haulage stuff back to the original sort of gameplay uh, trailers. This big pipe that I've got on is fantastic, like. But uh, it's not, it's not, it's not as good as the heavy haulage trailers for the turning and that. Better put the handbrake on there. I know the handbrake's on. I put it on. Don't go red. If you go red, I'm gonna drive straight to it. At a red light every bloody junction. Right, so where are we near? Right, we'll take the complication parking because we like the complicated side of things. Yeah, so the the heavy haulage trailer steers on the rear really well. These ones I don't think they've got rear steering, but if they have, they st they're not very good. I'll put that uh, ah see that that's the other thing as well with this view I can't put the mirrors on for you guys either because they go right over the other side of the screen so we'll still we'll still got some sorting out to do I think and I have completely misjudged this I don't know if any of you guys struggle with the reversing, but the key is just the slower you go, the better you'll be. Uh, what do we need? We need T. Jobs are good. I enjoyed that. That wasn't bad at all, that. Uh, so we'll go back to the drive button. Oh, my fault. I didn't actually damage the truck. <laughs> Lucky. Right, we need a place to rest. Truck keeps rolling. Come on, go green. Do it. Go green. Oh, there she goes. I'll pull in here and have a quick nap. got the old rain on quite enjoyed that truck so I'm going to just see if there's another quick job on uh, oh, some big journeys in there we need to come and do like a, a day journey That gets us in the middle of Germany as well, like I will take that. I've got air pressure. I that's another thing. Yeah, that's another thing you guys could comment on. What do you do with the air pressure like? How do you, how do you, 
you know get air pressure like I don't know do you just leave the truck to take over I don't know what the do you rev the truck what's the do like this truck though Right, so, windy wipers on, we're going to, we're going right here. in here oh that was close mark now we're going to take the little job which is that one 190 mile flat out go to the loading area I'm on my way Job in hand. Don't actually know what we're ferrying today. Uh, wood shavings, 14 tons. I forgot to check what the other one was as well. Right, so we are going all right. Nothing coming, and we've got a green light finally. Come on, stay green. Ah, it changed. Is it going to change again? Is it? So we've got 180 mile to go. I, I actually quite enjoyed doing the last job, so I thought, hey, why not? We'll just we'll get we'll get cracked on. Again, I I, I completely understand every episode is not going to be for everybody, uh, and you can't. I know you can't please it, like everyone as a whole, but uh, it would be nice if I can. You know, at least you get it right so you guys enjoy watching anyway. Because there's people already enjoy watching and I just want, because I've changed things, I just want them people to enjoy still watching. I don't want to change something and then come back and go, oh, I don't like it now. So, this is basically how it was on the single screen, apart from I've got three screens. So, I don't see how this, this is about as good as you get to how it was. But in worst case scenario, I'll go back to the single screen. Doesn't bother me. I enjoy building a new mount for this as well, so it kept me busy. That's miserable weather now. We'll get in the draft, I think. truck's just gone really light 
wonder why that is. I wonder if it's just too heavy for this type of truck. I think we'll just uh, we'll just take our time then. I don't want to wreck me truck like it did it. I mean, I wasn't even doing out stupid. I don't even think I was going that fast. It just uh, it, the whole truck started to shake at the back end, so. Granted, with the last load on, I was maybe going a bit quick, but I wasn't being too daft with this one. We'll just get up to 50 and we'll just take our time. What we at now? 45. I think 80, 50, 80 kilometres. I don't mind the rain on the game though, I know some people aren't keen, but uh, it doesn't bother me. What we like for fuel, we're good. 83 mile to go, it's only a quick one this, like it was just to add on to the one we'd already done. See, there it goes again, it's just starting to slide. I wonder if it's just the wet or if I've got my truck set up wrong or... That's weird. I mean, I'm only doing 45, 50. So, uh, let us know in the comments or let us know on the Facebook page what why it's doing that. I mean, obviously, something I don't know about. I'm doing something wrong. I, I get that. But I'm not, I've slowed right down. I'm not doing stupid speed anymore. I'm doing 46 there. So. But. Is it the is it the weight? Is it I don't know. Is do I need a double wheel trailer? Uh, <coughs> do I need the twin wheel axle on the back? Is that is that the problem? I've got no idea. Even the windscreen wipers have got sounding awesome. Come on, I drifted over a little bit, but I didn't I didn't drift over that much. So I wonder if uh if that me losing losing the truck is that accurate? Like, is that them trying to do like aquaplaning or something? But if they are, it's weird because you can't see any puddles or anything. It's different on like Forza and that, where you can physically see puddles. I'm not comparing the two titles, don't get me wrong, but I, I just mean the actual puddle wise. You can physically see a puddle. Oh, it's starting to slide again. I mean, I'm doing what, 46 mile an hour there? I mean. I'm not do I'm not going stupid. I mean I don't want to wreck me truck. <laughs> I'm gonna go slow into these corners just in case it is the speed, but it doesn't feel like the speed. It's not even like I'm doing like jerky movements either. Oh, see, looking right over there for the map really puts you off here. But I know I've got a map on on there, but I was just more looking towards the speed. And the speedo is in kilometres, so I should really change the game to kilometres so I can see what I'm doing.
I'm assuming we'll be turning off soon to be honest and I'll be going slow when we turn off customer expects your delivery soon I've only just set off I think it's going to bite here yeah it is see I'm, I'm taking my time I'm trying my best not to lose it I, I understand there's an issue but I can't stop now God, it was going to go there as well why did that I think I had that in one of my other videos as well and I never ever got an answer to what the problem was oh, sorry about that me yawning my head off So we've only got 12 miles to go, so we'll just sit around 40 mile an hour because I don't want to crash my truck. They're definitely a little bit faster and it does start to get a bit wobbly, but I'm, all, I'm only doing 45 there. awful when you're feeling it gone it's not like sit the sim racing where you can physically drift it it's gone <laughs> weird but I say it could just be because of the rain or because I've got the wrong axle on the truck like the wrong chassis I'm going straight over but the job's on the left so we want to get in here and get parked going to be quite tight getting that in there it is a small trailer luckily but the rain doesn't make it any easier oh. I think I've got it a bit wrong guys oh no 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 it's in Ideal. Another good job done. Excellent. And we didn't cr wreck it. So I've only got a single wheel on the back of that light, so I'm wondering if that's a problem. Oh, that's not where the... I want to get out. This is where they outweighs. Oh, a nice Mercedes dealer. Well, I messed that parking up, didn't I? I want the park next to that Merc. And do the job. Knock the wipers off. 
Right guys, so we're gonna leave that there. I've enjoyed that. It was a good drive out. So again, it was just a test. Let me know what you think. The heavy haulage video that I put on with the three screens, the view where it's got the multi-mon on, so the view's correct. It goes across the dashboard and looks normal when you sit in. But then it's a closer view for you guys. So this view is probably better for what you guys can see. So you let me know which view you prefer and which view you want to see in the future videos. So, uh, you know, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Give us a, well, I say a like or subscribe, but what I mean is, if you liked the video, like it. If you didn't, dislike it. But please leave us a comment and let me know why you didn't like it. Uh, and if you've got any advice or you want to ask any questions, leave us a comment. Head over to the Facebook group. Get yourself joined on there and, you know, put some comments and put some posts on there of whatever you like. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.